another board. These are a bunch of incomplete thoughts and about CE5, which uh, Stephen Greer has popularized. It's kind of a thing off of the movie, you know, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. He's got Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. And I've got some real doubts about this whole idea. So anyway, Stephen Greer did this CE5 attraction protocol using mental telepathy to contact, to attract contact, invite contact. And I've thought of trying this sometime, you know, going outside with the my e-field meters. I did this ghost hunting one night too. And kind of a half-hearted attempt, you know. Uh, night vision and e-field meters. Uh, and you try to get into a coherent thought sequence. Some even have a remote viewing aspect to it where they project a tower. They project a, imagine a tower of light coming out of their head straight up for several hundred feet. And um, supposedly they'll see you and zoom right in on that beacon. And some people bring, you know, physical lasers to, you know, a pen laser. Well, this, this whole thing leaves a lot of questions to me. Is this any different than ghost hunting? How do we know these aren't just shapeshifters? Elves, gnomes, ghosts, demons, angels. <laughs> I mean, if you're a shapeshifter, you can al you can masquerade as anything you want. Alien, Bigfoot, angel, your guide, maybe even a relative who departed, you know, that they've got knowledge of. So, I don't know what to do with all this. I've thought of doing it some, some night, trying to get somebody with me probably to do it, though. Who will sit with me late in the night with the instruments and stuff and uh, not hold me responsible if they come back with a demon. <laughs> Uh, nor myself. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of a danger to some of this stuff. Like, you open the door to it, and then it's hard to close the door sometimes. So you always got to think about your end path, you know, not just getting into something wildly. You got to think about controlling it, keeping it in perspective. I also think of, there's something called a an observer effect. And that is if someone's seeing a UFO and you walk up to him and he points it out to you, you're likely to see it. Um, I think it's more than just the physical coincidences of that. It's almost like, you know, he sees a Bigfoot and gets you into looking for a Bigfoot too, you're like more likely to see it too. I don't know, there's sort of a observer effect, sort of a contagious effect of uh, someone else observing it kind of gives you permission to observe it too. And their interpretation kind of becomes your interpretation, usually. There are accounts where people saw different things. That's very interesting. So there's a lot of common things between, say, uh, all of these things really, but Often with the Bigfoot and with the aliens, people see them coming out of nowhere or going into nowhere. And often a, a flash of light, usually a blue flash of light. Lots of stories of that. So there's something going on here. There's something going on. It's not purely physical, that's for sure. Well, almost for sure. If we had uh, as many big feet around as they say, then, you know, we would have found something. Pretty much the same with aliens. We have found stuff, but it's like the men in black are able to shut it up right away. So, and I don't know if they're not shapeshifters as well, the men in black. Just trying to control the whole exposure. Yeah, a partner would be handy to have if you got someone who can stay up with you late at night and do this with you. You wouldn't want a total skeptic. You wouldn't want anybody who's real unstable either, though. 
you want someone who can kind of watch you and you can kind of watch them, you know. Make sure nothing crazy goes on. If you bring a total skeptic, I predict nothing will happen. Again, the observer effect. So I think the skepticism and the, uh, also the people who really think they're going to see something. <laughs> I don't know if I advise you to gin that up in yourself or not. Um, but other than seeing just a flash in the sky or something go by, if you're going to get involved deeper than that, then make sure you really know what you're dealing with, you know. And go back to the psychic defense stuff we did previous video but yeah send it light you know have a gut go by your gut feeling your horse sense if it doesn't feel right don't go with them I wouldn't go with them anyway <laughs> but um, you're getting involved more than the passing flash in the sky is something you really gotta take a measured approach to Just some quick channel notes here. As always, I'm looking for ideas, suggestions. I may eventually do some guided meditation or guided relaxation videos. Input on that would be interesting too, if you're interested in that or not. Interested in that. I got three new users. They all kind of came at once and none of them have any real detail in their backgrounds. One of them kind of does. But um, they might just be Bots, but I'll treat them like they're real users. Uh, I've been trying to keep an informal uh, two to one ratio of. I'm trying to keep my two videos per user ratio going here. So I'm going to have to make a couple more videos. So, with this many videos, I'm really hoping that users will take the time and look at some of my older videos. A lot of these videos have very few views on them, and there are some good ones back there. Most of them are fairly short, so you can blow through them pretty quick.